Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a tour of my room. Let's start on the left side underneath my desk. I have a trash can and I have this cardboard box, which I use as a recycling bin. And now here is my desk. This is my rolling chair, which my dad got for free from his company since they were getting rid of these. And on the back, I have my backpack that I use for school. So I'm gonna roll this out of the way and show you the rest of my desk. The desk I have is a standing desk from the brand Anthrodesk, so I can move it up and down. Starting over here on the left side of my desk, I have a tissue box and I have an analog clock. And then this is my external hard drive, which is connected to my laptop. I use this to back up the files on my laptop. I have these two windows in front of my desk, which are my main lighting source for my videos. And in between them, it might be a little hard to see, I have lettered a quote using watercolors. You might recognize that quote from my September Plan With Me video. Here resting on the windowsill, I have a Bluetooth speaker. I mostly use this for listening to music while I'm studying or listening to podcasts in the shower since it is a waterproof speaker. And then this is my laptop. And here I have my bullet journal and a math review sheet that I'm currently working on. Here is my mouse, which I use with my laptop. And I have these three jars should probably have wiped my desk before filming this video. It's a little crusty. This one has pens and pencils and scissors and other various school supplies. And then this jar has my mild liners in them. Some of my supplies are also in my pencil bag, but I store a lot of them on my desk. And then this smaller jar is for mostly personal care items like my lip balm and lotion but I also have a USB drive and some graphite. And then this is my lamp. I really like this lamp because it has different color settings. Also, it can be adjusted to different brightness levels. And resting on the base of the lamp, I have this pad of post-its for just jotting down quick notes. Underneath my desk on the right side, I have this red bin from Ikea. And in here, I keep my school items when I take them out of my backpack for the evening. There's also a huge mess of cables since here, underneath my desk, I have my power strip. I've labeled each of the cords with different colors of washi tape and a tab that says what it is, so it's a little less confusing. And now moving on to these shelving units that are on the right side of my desk. On top of this one, I have my printer. This is the printer that my family shares, but I am the one who uses it the most in my family, so we keep it in my room. On this shelf underneath, I have these little cardboard boxes that I use to store all of my cables. Each box is labeled with the different electronics that will work with that cable. I also have this adapter for international travel and power outlets. On top of this shelf, I have my makeup brushes and I have my way too expensive palette, but I still really like it, but it was really expensive, which you probably recognize from my attempting to do makeup video. Just keep mentioning my own videos because why not? Here is a mirror. And I have this purple water bottle. I mostly use this when I'm drinking water in my room because I really like the straw type of water bottle. On this shelf, I have my textbooks for school. I have my notebooks and I have a prep book for the SAT2 math level two. And these are some sketchbooks and different types of art paper like watercolor paper and black paper. Then on this final shelf on the bottom, I have some Clorox wipes a ruler, a wooden board that I use as a cutting board, and a step stool since I'm kind of short, but I still need to reach things. I have quite a few of these plastic bins that work as drawers. So in this top one, I have sticky notes and page flags. 
In this one, I have things that are used for sticking things together, like tape, glue, staples, and binder clips. Then this one, which is called binders, but I just have a ton of binder tabs. On the next step of this stair-shaped bookcase, I have a lot of different types of paper. They're all separated by these post-it note tabs. I have this wicker basket, which I use for things that I tend to lose. So right now I have my wallet and my keys. Behind here, I have an empty chocolate frog box, which I got from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And I have a box of refills of printer ink. Now for these drawers, this one is called refills and it's just a kind of catch-all bin for things that don't really fit in the other bins and they're items that I'm not currently using but I will eventually use once I use up the next thing. For example, I have some lip balm, pen refills, wood case pencils, and whiteout. Next, this bin has empty notebooks just as the label would imply. And these last two bins, this one called storage, contains some bags and pouches that I can use for storage, but they're currently empty as I'm not using them. And then this bin is called declutter and giveaway. I'm not going to open it since there are some items that I will be giving away in next week's video. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Then this is the last section on my staircase bookshelf. And here I have the paperback books that I'm currently reading. I also have this mug, which I got from my yearbook Secret Santa, so thanks so much if you're watching this. And I use this mug as a candle holder. Over here on this side, I have my lovely blue couch. And on top of my couch, I have this orange fuzzy blanket, which is a horrible color combination, but I still really like my couch. I usually sit here and I read since my books are on the right side next to it. Also on this couch, I have my two Ikea sharks. I got this one myself in second grade and then by coincidence, one of my friends who didn't even know that I already had an Ikea shark got me another one. So now I have two of them. This one is named Sharkeel O'Neill. I haven't named this one yet, but if you have any suggestions, be sure to leave them in the comments. Over on this side, I have this really old lamp from Ikea. I keep mentioning Ikea. I promise this video is not sponsored by Ikea. My family just buys a lot of things from Ikea. This lamp is pretty old and the lampshade is broken, but it still emits light, so here it is. This is the door to my room and I have this lovely jingle bell craft thing that I made in first grade. On this side next to the door, I have a command hook where I hang up my bag for carrying around my running stuff for cross country and track practice each day. And underneath it, I have this foam roller. And now here is my closet. Fun fact, all of the light switches in my room are upside down for some reason. On this side, I have two command hooks and I use these to hang up any coats or jackets that I'm currently wearing and I don't want to put into the laundry yet. I have this hanging organizer. The top shelf is for my pajamas. The next one is for all of my accessories. And then here are where I put all of my socks and underwear. On the top, I have all of the board games that my family owns, since just like the printer, I'm pretty much the only person who uses these. Over here are pretty much all of my clothes. I just did my laundry yesterday, so this is the most organized it's ever going to be. On the top, I have washi tape to label what is in each section, like running shirts, running shorts, pants, shirts, and jackets. Over here underneath everything, I have my laundry basket. I have a fan since my room gets pretty hot, but I don't have air conditioning. And then I have my distance spikes for track, and I have this pair of sprinter spikes since in freshman year I tried to be a pole vaulter, but it wasn't going to work out. Now I just loan them out to people throughout the season. On this side, this board here has a loose nail, so I'm making the most of it and using it as a hook. Here I have this gray backpack and I have the only purse that I own for formal occasions. 
Lastly, in this back corner, I have shipping supplies, which are mostly different tissue wraps and packing peanuts and bubble wraps that I have kept from other packages that I've received, and also these giant rolls of bubble wrap. On this blank wall next to my closet, I have a whiteboard that I pretty much never use and no one in my house ever uses, so we just keep it in my room. Here is my giant bookcase, which is from Ikea as well. On this top shelf, I have my ukulele inside its case. This shelf is for my physical books that are mostly sentimental. I don't actually have a lot of physical books anymore since I read mostly on my Kindle or on my phone. And here I also have my Hermione wand from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. On the next shelf down, I have my old bullet journals. I have two candles and all of my old yearbooks. This shelf is for camera equipment. On this side, I've also got a tripod leaned against the bookcase and these last two shelves. This one is for art supplies. So there are a lot of different bags for colored pencils, different types of markers and brush pens. And then this one is for watercolor supplies. And this box is for acrylic paint supplies. This shelf has these two bags, which came with my tripod. And then these are some binders that I use to store school papers and some older notebooks. On the ground underneath, I have this large sketchbook and I have a pile of papers that are from last semester. I'm not sure whether I want to keep them or not since I don't think I'll need them, but I'm gonna keep them for another month or so and if I don't use them in that time, I'll probably recycle them. And here is my bed where I sleep. It's great, I like sleeping a lot. There are these three drawers underneath. This one has ski equipment and gloves and coats for either when I go skiing or when I travel to anywhere that is colder than like San Francisco maybe. This middle drawer has my summer clothes. So these are some t-shirts and shorts that I'm not wearing right now in the winter. And this last drawer just has nothing in it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to see more, I upload new videos every Monday. My Tumblr and Instagram are at studyquill if you wanna check those out. See you next time!